What is up YouTube? This is Danny's Reef Tank giving you just a quick glimpse right now of the Innovative Marine Fusion Lagoon 25 gallon tank. Uh, tank has been doing good, ordering a lot of corals. Going to be getting my aquascape ready relatively soon, but I need to get a lot more corals of what I'm really looking for. Um, not going to give you too much of a close up of the corals yet. I ordered from three different sellers on eBay. Uh, two of them went uh, past my expectations on the health and arrival of the corals. Uh, one of them, the corals didn't arrive very healthy, and we're getting that resolved. So I'm going to see how he handles that before I give a review and give out any seller names. But um, first thing you'll notice, Anemone has opened up great. Um, it's really adapted very well. Um, it's getting huge in here. Much easier to feed in this tank. That's the first thing I've noticed from this tank to my 90. Uh, the ability and ease of feeding things like anemone is amazing. I'm loving the shallowness of this reef tank. It is staying clear as all get out, uh, with the exception of doing just some algae scrubs on the glass. Uh, the flow of the return in with the MP10 edition is doing great. You know, I'm going to give you just a close up on some of the corals here. A lot of zoanthids. Uh, a lot of nice zoanthids in there, Utter Chaos, Darth Mauls, Candy Apple Pinks. Uh, as you can see, there's really a wild collection in there. Uh, not as much on this side. Uh, and that is some of the ones from one of the cellar. All of those back in the corner that are all dead. I'm leaving them in there for photos just in case they need more information or anything like that to get it resolved. But um, first thing I'm going to say out of this tank that I noticed that I love, but at the same time I hate. This tank comes with pre-filter aqua socks, or uh, filter socks, whatever you want to call them. Uh, they're great, but they're kind of a hassle to uh, constantly clean. So what I have done is in one corner, uh, I'm going to take, I actually have a filter film over this right now to uh, change the color. It's going to blue it out versus yellow it out. I take that off. I'm going to get the custom caddy that fits great out the back, just so y'all can briefly see. Um, it is awesome. I don't have much media in it or anything right now. I'm going to put Kim Pure Blue. Um, my Kim Pure Elite's actually in the backpack. But you can see I'm able to put filter socks. It's three stages. I'm going to stick it in real quick. Pick it back up. It's going to make the water a little bit dirty because that bottom is a little bit uh, full of junk and debris. But uh, I love how easy it is. It fits back there. You just get some filter floss, cut it out, stick it in. Easy to change. Easy to pull out really love that they have that ability to uh, support their products with updates upgrades and stuff like that versus just the basic filter sock while great uh, it gets dirtier much quicker and more of a hassle to clean or more expensive to replace so there you have it youtube just a brief little update of this tank i uh, really love this tank gonna get some more great reviews got some new products coming in uh, i'm gonna get that gourmet def uh, defroster or however you pronounce that from Innovative Marine, definitely going to get a good feedback and review on that, going to test it out. And then I got another custom caddy coming in because I just really loved it. I mean, they're $25, but the ease and money you'll save over time versus filter socks, you're going to get that return back pretty quickly. But uh, thanks for checking it out, YouTube. Like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, anything you want me to get or review for this tank, definitely let me know below. I will definitely consider everything except for a skimmer. I do not plan on running a skimmer in this tank. So uh, later, YouTube. Bye.